Hello YouTube and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6. Uh, at least we're starting on an interesting note, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure what is happening here. We appear to be in a good bit of trouble. But that's not super uncommon for my games. <laughs> Alright, there's our error score for meeting people. What do you want? Ooh. All right, so now what? Um, producing units makes sense. We're really going to need to respond to this. I, I, I think I'll, I'll make a couple more archers here before we go a little crazy on uh, hopefully our settlers. But I think, yeah, I want to I build at least another archer too. Uh, we're going to have a whole south to secure as well. Uh, see, this is, this is where I get a little frustrated. We still, we can still pull off our city down there, but we're very quickly running all out of, uh, out of room there. Where's the faith coming from? We found a relic, uh, and we were a first meet on Leventa. Well, uh, well, I guess that works. I guess that works. We'll see what we can do here. Just need one more era score. So weird attack that I'm making. The reason I'm making this attack is I want to damage this unit so that my archers can actually finish it off here. Um, I also think attacking across the river here, knowing that I'm hopefully going to clear this, and then this dude can just heal in my territory alongside the chariot, I think makes a lot of sense. Um, although I don't get as many shots on this as I wanted. Yeah, got to clear them out there, which makes this awkward. A little bit awkward. Yeah, friendship with her is fine. And she has not met the last Civ. All right, there we go. Now we're closer to action. Uh, huge Vig, thank you so much for the nine months, man. Welcome on back. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Let's go after mining now. I don't know where this last era score is going to come from. Like, I really don't.
We have five turns to find it. I don't think we're anywhere near it. That's not good. If I chop, if I chop this observatory, it's kind of doable. Although I'd have to chop a woods, which means I have to get a uh, builder here. Otherwise this dude has to find it and I don't think that's happening the way we've got him going. Oh man, come on. I don't think the time, if I buy, what can I do here? I really don't want to sell this. I could sell gold per turn. How much is the builder? Let's find out. 215. Okay, so I need, I need like 50-ish gold. 40 gold. So I need 40 gold. So I'll give you 60. If you give me 40? Nope. Nope. Hmm. Well, I specifically need 38 gold. Wow, that is exactly 38 gold. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so then, okay, so if I have four turns left on this and I have a five turn observatory here and I purchase a builder who moves over to the woods and then in three turns can chop and finish off the observatory, that secures our golden. It is not my favorite way of doing it. We're committing a lot of resources into it um, and we're actually gonna wind up going over on era score, but at least it's an option. Cheers, I thought I'd turn the sub that was gifted to me into one of my own now. Hey, Smiley thank you. Face. That's so cool. I love seeing those gifted subs come back. Thank you, Voltaire. Welcome on back for two months. Good to have you here. I appreciate that. Thank you for the value for value and thanks for the vote of confidence. And if we stumble across that other error score naturally, that's great. But otherwise, we have the option to chop. So there's early empire. That was a good bit of damage, wasn't it? I'm going to keep railing on the city. I think just another builder here makes the most sense. Nope. All right, so we are going to have to chop it. Um, I guess I might as well chop it now. Well, next turn. Who deserves more credit? All right. So, boom. Build our observatory for era score there. We go 28 of 25 for era score. So we do make it happen, even though it's a pretty expensive ask. Um, and then really need to get my settlers going. 
I do need to finish off this war. I guess let's play out the war turn first. So what do I get started with here? Settlers? I think so. Next turn we'll put in the settler policy. Just hope that the army we've built enough or we built up is big enough. Three or four housing here now. I can also trade this. Five per turn. She already has our our Uh, hey, Ken, uh, I'm trying to work out a new schedule uh, sort of actively at the moment. So I'm kind of up in the air right now. Thank you for coming in from YouTube. It's good to, good to see you. Um, I hope to have more content over there. I hope that this game will go up there tonight for you all. That is my hope. Sorry that it's been quiet. I haven't disappeared. It's just been a weird few weeks. Everything's been a little bit crazy. All right. Apadana gone. We go into the classic age alongside early empire. We also have some faith for monumentality if we want to go that route. Uh, great people wise, we have a prophet gone to uh, Grand Colombia, which is a little bit interesting. Indonesia working on one too, but we might be able to sneak out a religion to be perfectly honest with you. We have some decent faith. I don't really know what we'd be using all of that for. Um, perhaps great people. I don't know. How are my citizens placed in the cap? Good question. Why on earth would it pick this? Oh, because I just chopped it. Because I just chopped it. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. Oh, that's awesome. Ken, please ask ask questions and hey, join up with our Discord. Um, if, if I'm not live and you have questions, that's a great place to get some answers. Uh, we have a very, very helpful community within that server Brussels making me nervous over here <laughs> all right um so Scythia yeah everyone's it was talking about my golden age quit quit talking about my age you guys quit talking about my age don't you know that's impolite um okay cool so uh we get our first governor here we get a golden age dedication um do I do I want to try to go for this we have uh, only one, potentially two golden ages to contest with. If we took Exodus here, we might be able to snag a prophet. We've got some decent holy sites near Chocolate Hills and the wonders we have. Uh, not to mention the relic in the first meet over here accumulating a little bit of faith. Just don't know if it's worth it. Um, monumentality would be good here. Builder movement, etc. However, it's going to run out of steam real fast. Uh, is that flights? Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. We took the free settler pantheon. Getting close to being able to buy those tiles. I think I'm going to try to get the religion. Um, the, the thing that I think the religion can do for us as a tall sieve, uh, and I don't know the new distribution of like what people take right away. Wow. Choral music right away. Did I get nerfed in this last patch? I think I did. Um, so choral music gone over there, but but I would actually be looking for the uh, the the production one, um, whatever it is, the percentage, the production per, per citizen percentage wise, um, in a space race. I think that's interesting, especially as a tall sieve. If we have our cities at like ten to fifteen population, ten to fifteen percent production could be interesting. So I think I'll I'll I'll, 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 I'll see. Let's see if we can snag a religion. If nothing else, it'll protect against a uh, you know losing that. Losing that. Chrome music gets popped every time you find now. So I did get nerfed. That's sad. Amenity for two districts. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that one. That's good, Ken. That's what it's all about. Hmm. 
much like the hokey pokey. Um, okay. Frankly, settlers, right? This is nothing at the moment, but that's okay. All right, so we got our city back. Uh, and I think while we're up here, let's go raise New York. And we'll just try to slow down Teddy, get a peace deal out of it, etc. Um, he's probably probably have enough time before he gets anywhere near crossbows, hopefully. Uh, and then what governor do we want first? I honestly think just Pingala. Uh, you know what? No. Give me Liang. Give me Liang. We're so builder dependent. I like Liang first in a, on a lot of civs that have like a, a an early tile improvement. So Sphinx, uh, Ziggurats, things like that uh, where you want a lot of those. But I think we're in a pretty similar situation here being so dependent on builders. So I actually think Liang's a decent choice. Um, and then we can throw throw them here. And then delay this builder exactly one turn and get an extra extra one. Magnus to keep population while settling? I don't think so. We're low population anyways. Magnus, the, the prevention from losing citizens with Magnus is really good when you have a tall city. Like, like if you're pop 10, losing your 10th citizen is a big deal. But losing your first through fourth is usually not a, bit, a, big, a, a big problem. Uh, Kazrio? Or Iro? Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Pingala also not that good in low population. Yeah, that is absolutely true. All right, let's go raise New York. We're definitely making an enemy in America here, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so 11 turns. This is turn 60 political philosophy. That's not too bad, given that we're such a slow starting Civ. Getting some Eurekas here now. I don't think I want any other Liang promotions. Now I probably, we probably do take Magnus now, but not for the settler thing, just because we have so many choppable lands here. He does need to be punished for bullying. Let's bully the bully. All right, we can take inscription to make our archers free. That's better than any of the rest of these. And then I still like colonization here. Urban planning is actually pretty good, but I'll probably go after this um, builder to another settler over here and just try to get him. Try to get all the ones we want. Uh, Raging, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> hey, Lordy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to lose any extra combat strength that we were enjoying.
Uh, thank you. Thank you, Thalia. Turn 50 save in the books. Maybe. Okay. New York could have a plus four observatory. I mean, we could keep New York as a Petra city, I guess. These guys can get the five housing now. That is good. So work that, work this, and work that. Yep, that's correct. Yeah, he's got swords now. That is a bit of a problem. Okay. If I just put a unit there, we siege. I can't do that one, though. Made a chariot, interesting. Definitely motivated to take out the units. All right, and then let's get started with another settler here. We'll work on two at once. I'm going to send this guy up to the front lines and delay. Actually, I'm going to need that uh, trader. I'm going to need that trader at some point. Mm, we could tech walls slash pyramids with masonry. That seems okay. Can I enable CC on my VODs? I don't think that's an option. I don't think that's an option. I'll try to talk more up here, though. If that's an option, I'd be happy to do that. Are, 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 you, are, are you hard of hearing? NASA did it? Well, if NASA did it... <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Yeah, um, I, I'll look into it. I, I'd be, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be inaccessible. Starting to look like a good deal here. There's Geneva all the way over there. That's good. All right, who knows the final sieve? You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. So no. Wait, no one knows the final sieve? Hmm. 
That's interesting. It's coupe. Maybe he is. Maybe it is coupe somewhere. <laughs> All right, so we take advantage of the siege mechanic to prevent them from healing uh, and finish off New York here. It is a question if we want to like keep them or not. Um, okay, so let's see. If I want to continue on with this, I'd have to probably go, like, make, make, like, I don't know that I'm getting these tiles if I want to make the uh, Petra play. And this is, like, a bunch of dead land in between us. We could still theoretically get a four-tile Petra over here. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the top end. But obviously, like, these four tiles are a little bit ungettable. Which, that's not great. I think we raise this out of, out of spite. No, I agree, N4. I think, I think holding cities, like, if this city were an actual city and not dependent on getting a wonder to make it, to make it good, I would probably just keep it, right? Like, if it were a decent city, like any of these other ones that we planned or whatever, then I think I then I think I would keep it regardless of if if it's in right like eighty five percent of a stolen city is still eighty five percent of a stolen city even if it doesn't get the, these like bonuses and stuff like that, um, but it it's completely dependent on getting the Petra right now that might be doable we would have a couple chops but then I'm also having to commit to like buying these tiles um, and it just takes way 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 too much to make this viable so I do think it's a raise here. But probably close, and I wouldn't fault you for keeping it. I'm just gonna be like OCD and stuff, and 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 raise it. All right, need to go get our other cities settled. Still think I like this city a lot, but I would like to come down and settle towards um, Indonesia. Yeah, and yeah, I think I piece Teddy now. See if we can get a, a decent deal out of this. I think that's fine. This is 13 gold per turn and 167 raw. This is this is going to more than pay up pay pay for the archers and the effort that I had to put into this. Um, so it's it's nice that we get a decent peace deal here and we can just call it a day. Uh, this early on like we are is is quite quite good. Quite good. A little bit of diplo favor we can turn around and sell that too. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, I could even maybe look at 680. No, I'm probably not buying a settler. So one, two, we're going to want three, four, five, six. That would give us nine cities. That might be okay. And then do I bring this whole mass of an army down here in case she decides to do something cheeky? Granted, I cannot war her for a long time. 15 more turns. I guess by the time my, my army's down there, might be all right. Let's explore a little bit. And start to bring these guys back home.
Very, very strong archer, though. Uh, she's got a great, great unique unit. Works really, really well with her mechanics. Um, just to be able to do exactly what we did and be like, hey, get out of here. Not to mention, I mean, granted, we lost this city. Like, there was a whole there was a whole roller coaster we went on. But, you know, not only were we able to secure, retake, whatever you want to call it, and then raise another city. It's a very strong, unique unit. I do like it, the whole cheese. It's a one-time deal. Probably not interested in that. Two per turn and then five as a one-time deal. That's a better. That's better. And I don't mind selling this, I don't think. Open borders. She wants to give me open. Yeah, okay. Deal. I can also buy these uh, camp tiles and make our capital less um, bad. <laughs> that might be a thing I want to do at Political Philosophy. Like, drop in the uh, tile buying uh, policy and secure some tiles that we want. Like, buying district tiles for places, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Seems like a reasonable way to go. Go, go, auto movement. It'd be cool to give observatories a standard jungle adjacency uh, since they're famous for Chichen Itza and stuff. I mean, that's, I don't know. I, I assume i assume the way the observatory works is the way that they want it to work. Um, but I, I, I mean, I think that I, I've suggested that as well. Like, just, just leave some of the normal campus adjacencies in there. That would be another way of making her feel more powerful. Um, So there you go. Now you have a decent tile to work. I mean, we're not going to wind up with a with a with a great Petra at all. Like I wonder like uh, there's there's weird math that you have to do when playing Maya. Like is is this city, like if we get this city outside of our 15% bonus, is it and and you have to do the math this way, right? Like not not is that city uh 15% better than the one within our range. You have to do the full 25%, right? So like, do we settle this city and get a middling Petra or would the Petra city be 25% better than this city if we just gave it the whole land? Um, and those are, those are questions I think that you need to ask yourself fairly often when settling cities and looking at what you're doing with Maya. I'll take the production to Boston, I think. I wouldn't mind an, uh, some sort of road in between our cities here. Actually, that's probably better if we do it that way. We got him, Bose. We got him. <laughs> Her archer is very, very good. Definitely. I mean, we saw a sword. I, the, the sword didn't attack us much. But we did see a sword, and we were we were just fine. Should be a thirty three percent difference, not twenty five. Really? Why? My math brain does not compute. Why would it not be additive? Uh, yeah, there was a war. See this circle. That was a war circle. All right. 
So political philosophy uh, ultimately will want to wind up in classic republic, but again, with the threat of like maybe having to raise an Indonesia city or something like that, I think we're pretty happy to be an oligarchy. We also have a, a, a fairly large army to pay for here, and so having a home for conscription makes a lot of sense. We can bring in colonization uh, or, or bring in urban planning to complement colonization, but I do like the idea of taking a couple turns and buying some tiles. Uh, we could also then look at sending out some envoys and run these two temporarily uh, and go for a fast policy switch to get them back out of there. Uh, that will be in mysticism where we pick up an envoy and a policy switch at the same time. Right. I understand that. So it's not 25%. One would equate to 1.1 yield versus 0.85. Okay. So I don't know. Let's, let's not math on the internet. Let's not math on stream. Suffice it to say, I don't follow your guys' logic. I don't get it. All right. So we do have our, our tile buying policy in, which means I do want to grab these guys are excellent tiles and it's going to be forever until I get them. I have to be 33%. Okay, so one. I guess I see it. Okay. Uh, Thagios, thanks for the follow. Pretty happy to give them a second farm. They can get up to five housing now. What I like about where we're at is there aren't any like floodplains and stuff. All right, and then I wanted to go to Boston with the other city. We passed through this, that, that, this makes sense. This is good, not too bad. All right, that gets us to currency too. We can look towards Petrotech to make this city viable. I find myself always, like, almost always wanting a Petra city um, just to just to maximize her like stuff, you know, like in order to to make the most out of all the land. Like, you're you're pretty likely to run into some desert, and if that desert can be productive and Petra worthy, it's actually pretty good. Rip my scout. Does the farm have to be worked for the extra housing? No, no. It goes in there passively. City state there. Does this... How do... Have you been liberated already? Look at these like offensive borders. What is going on here? All right, so their observatory goes over here. So again, I'm committing some money to tiles. But I think it makes plenty of sense to do it this way. Granted, this is a plus zero campus right now. It will eventually be plus two. We also need to start looking at some districting uh, to make these things better. Uh, Mr. Spree, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Boo. Boo that land. We need new, new New York. <laughs> Something like that. No, they've just expanded their borders a lot. Seven envoys. Wow. Seven envoys there already. Uh, 
Uh, game music's on, I think. Yep, that works. Hey, have you noticed, uh, have you guys noticed in your games that Machu Picchu isn't like totally gone every time? Or, or am I, is that, am I just like uh, glass half full on that? Everant, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Start teching towards Petra. Forest fires, Yogi would be so disappointed. All right, um, so as we expand uh, and continue our, you know, our Maya playthrough here, uh, hopefully settling this wonder without much conflict, trying to get our last few cities in, we'll go ahead and put a cut in the video for now, getting our first couple campuses. Feels so bad that this is a plus zero campus. This is, j this is a, or this is a plus zero campus that if, if I were in a normal game would actually be a plus two campus, so kind of disappointing uh from that perspective in this game not a ton of plantations for us to take advantage of but we'll make it work and if you're watching over on youtube thank you so much for watching sorry about the uh the, the delay the hiatus uh, i'm figuring things out over there we will finish tots don't you worry um and thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one